Hello everyone, Asperin here, coming 101, going to do another review. Of course, um, actually, get this out real quick. Um, today, I went to uh, Fighter Corners today. Uh, I got some really, really cool stuff to show you and do a lot of reviews. I'm so behind on these reviews. So, uh, uh, yeah, so if you want to know where Fighter Corners is at, here's the address. Right here. Facebook him and give him a call. Uh, like I said, they have some really cool stuff there, and uh, took me by surprise what I found. And she was holding some stuff there for me too, because I saw they always post something on their Instagram and their Facebook to show you what they have, and I saw something I really wanted, so they held it for me for quite a while, because well, I haven't been there for quite a while. So, um, yeah, so I came across this big bag boy. Um, it's supposed to be a uh, fast forward um, vehicle. But instead, I put in the, the what do you call them, the 2K version in there, so they actually do fit. Perfect. Oh, hey, Tony, see? Yeah, my hair is so long. I think there's no way I'm cutting my hair. Uh-uh. So yeah, I put my hair back because it's really, really freaking hot outside, and I have the door open a little bit because I don't want no creepy-looking dude outside staring in here with my light on. So, all right. Um. So let's do some review on this bad boy, and I hope you like this one. I was going to do another brand new turtle toy, but since I got this one, I haven't done anything from this series for quite a while now, so I was like, yeah, why not? Let's do something with this one. Do something different. All right, people. Let's get on with the show. All right. <clears throat> let's show you the front part. As you can see, I do not have... Um, I think I'm missing like two missiles, and I noticed there's a lot of stickers that's not actually on there, so it shouldn't be too, too hard to complete this one, but then again, you know, when's the last time you ever see a Fast Forward um, accessories loose or out to like the flea market or whatever, but um, um okay, hopefully um, Fighter Corps will have some like that for to complete this one. Um... I looked online because I never actually owned this, but I have seen it in stores before, but like I guess I never actually owned this toy. So I had to look online and see like, okay, this is what it needs, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see up here, uh, well you can't really see him now because he's in the dark. But this is a shield right here. Just slide it right in, this is where they look out and everything. Boy, so these things do not come off, so you can't really fire it. And they got the side. And the bullets come from right here, or the missiles. I don't know where. Oh, here it is. We have the missiles. This is uh, where you shoot, push in, and shoots on the side. As you can see. These doors do open, I'll show you later. There's a door right here. And the other side, of course, here's where you put the missiles and it's where you fire. Um, however, I want to show you this. Really heavy if you had your toys in there, so be careful not dropping it. So you got 2005 Marvel Studio Playmates toys. Yeah, but you missed it hearing that Marvel Studio thing instead of Viacon. Okay. So here's the deal. Let's show you the top real quick. Buttons right here. As you see, this goes up. As you can see right there. Turns, whatever. Uh, and you can have another turtle up here. You can stand him up while he's, you know, about to fight. Let me show this real quick. As you see. So then we go back down. Door opens here. Door opens over there. And of course, the door opens right here. And then you got your um, turtles inside. Pretty fitting room. Um, apparently, you obviously could hold these guys because you know these guys are a little bit bigger. You can't put the 2007 TMT movie version in here because it's too big for it. And of course, there's a button right here. And then 
you can see uh, Raphael right there. Just chilling out. And there's a seat. Let's just see. Holds like that. So you have a better look at it. So. I actually like it when they actually make a big vehicle so you can put your toys in there so there'd be less room for your collection so you got you put them inside of it and they won't get all crushed up or anything like that. But let me show you inside of it. Here's the inside seats. Supposed to be some stickers over here, but I guess they got, you know, peeled off. As you can see. Looks pretty sweet. Very hard plastic. Um, some, some of them. I'll be very gentle when it comes to this, because you don't want to drop this, or else it's pretty much the it gone for it. <laughs> um... Instead of having a seat on top so they can face this way, you can have them out that way, like you just saw. So, that's what it looks like. Up and close. And little wheels on the bottom, which I'm pretty sure you already saw that. Get a catch. Yeah, I think I catch. Watch it pops up. You can see the wheels right here. Like little small wheels for a big vehicle. You can see underneath the engine and everything. Now the other good thing about this toy, since you already see that I put the 2K version in it, and it actually fits, right? Well, there's another good thing about this toy. Gently. Not only is it a good thing, but you can actually put your newer ones inside. If you, well, come down the front. There you go. Perfect. I want to do a review on this one soon, but I don't own the vehicle. I just got this one solo, and I got a fire corners as well. However, if you don't know about this, this has been one of the heaviest turtle toy out there out of new ones because I don't know what it is. He's completely heavy. But anyways, bend his their legs. Put it right there in the seat. Perfect. How amazing is that? And then in the quarters, you can put your Casey Jones in there. And it fits perfect. Now we close this up. Here's the fun part. Having this piece right here catching back here. So. Let's see. That's it. There you go. As you see, perfect. Perfect view and everything. Now back here, easily put metalhead in there. Close it up, and voila! You actually have another vehicle for your brand new Ninja Turtle toys. Like I said, when you actually put the toys in there, it matters. Like this one right now, like it's like I said, it's pretty heavy for what it is. But if you put like the 2K version in there, it gets heavier. So, uh, yeah, like I guess I'm only missing the missiles, and I just need the st extra stickers to put them on there. And this toy is absolutely awesome. I wasn't just going to do a review tonight. I was not I was thinking, no, nah, maybe not. Maybe I am. I'm not sure. No, if I am, I'm going to do a different toy. But then I got, you know, I really want to show this to everyone else out there who probably would love to have this toy. So you go online maybe looking for it as well. So like I said, I found this at Fire Corners. Uh, like I said, they do have some amazing stuff there. 
So I really need to get this one of those circles thing, you know, and have to spin around slowly so you can see the whole detail. Instead of me doing it like Vanna White. But yeah, anyways, um, this is one of the coolest thing ever. One of them. There's other vehicles out there too, people, so I don't think this is the only one. But uh, for a brand new Ninja Turtle toy, I would say this is what have you to get. If you don't have the old stuff, if you don't have the 2K or Fast Forward, or hell, you don't even like Fast Forward series, because there's a lot of people out there that doesn't like Fast Forward series, just get the vehicles then, and then put your turtle toys in it, like your old ones, and of course the brand new ones. Perfect fit than ever. So, put your comments down, people. Tell me your thoughts. Push like if you like this review. Share it with your friends. Um, I don't know. Add it to your favorite. Um, like I said, I want to hear your thoughts behind this. Do you own one? What do you thought about when you had it? Or maybe you still have it? Or if you did not know this even exists, please put your comments down and tell me your thoughts on this toy. Okay, before I finish, I just realized I should probably do a comparison. You know, like the differences in the size. As you can see, this toy right here is twice the size as the turtle um, van, or yeah, shell razor. <laughs> okay. As you see the size, the height is a lot taller for the shell razor. As you can see the differences. Level it right there. The only thing I can say is that you could actually put more turtle toys in this one and that one because it has it actually has seats. This doesn't have seats. As you can see inside. Oh we roll. Watch out. So, I mean, I'll let your thoughts wonder on these ones. I guess some more in there. Try to make some more room where my little corner is at. But this is still longer over here. This one is still longer as the battle shell over here is taller. And it holds more turtle toys. But still. I mean, come on. This toy is awesome. You gotta admit, it's pretty cool. It's so pretty. Alright, so that's my little review on it. Um, like I said, this is a pretty big size toy. Gotta make some extra room, whatever. So, um, like I said, if you're not a big fan of the Fast Forward um, vehicle or um, series, but the toys are so pretty cool. I, I think the toys are pretty cool. Um, but try to get their vehicles. I mean, they are a lot of different vehicles for the fast forwarding, and of course, you know, all the 2K versions. They actually came out with so many different vehicles out there. It's just, it's gotta get them all, man. Compared to what the 80s didn't really make any other vehicles as much as they than these ones did. Um, hopefully, the, the new version will actually do some more vehicles, like kind of like the, the, you know, the van and. Shell Razor. But, um, this can only hold, like, at least, what, like, five persons in this thing. Back, two, front, and, of course, up here. As you can see right here, also, see the little dot right there? It's not a button or anything, because, you know, on the bottom of the turtles... Actually, let me show you real quick. Yeah. On the bottom of the turtles, I have holes, so when you actually have them... On here, you you put it into that whole part, and then it pulls a stick. But since this is not a fast forward turbo toy, that's what it looks like right there. I was gonna fall or not. Oh. I mean, I don't know if that the handles are supposed to be that small because you can barely even reach over it and get it. But 
That's what those little holes are for, so you got vehicles like that to hold them and stand them up. I'll do another review on another vehicle I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I just want to get the, like I said, I want to get the 8 series out of the way. So go ahead and check out Mutation Man, Casey Jones, uh, Scroll Android, uh, what else did I do? Wingnut and my two different um, uh, version of uh, Dontello 2012. I got two different versions of it and I showed it on a review. So go ahead and check them out. So, I, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully, you know, you guys are probably going to be just as crazy as I was when I saw this. Because I think this toy is really cool. So. So anyways, um, until then, people, um, if I get another, um, some missiles in here, I'll make a part two of this, and I'll show you how it works, and how powerful the spring is inside, and, you know, because I don't know how it works, how well it is, you say. So, let's find out in part two. Until then, people, take care of yourself, and happy hunting, people. See you later. Alright, just a curiosity, uh, I looked on eBay and they didn't have this um, vehicle we're doing right now, but Amazon does. Open, uh, this guy, two customer reviews, this guy's selling it for this much money, so it's pretty close to 100 last time I saw it, it was actually around 100 So, this is how much it costs for Amazon, a lot of people liking it. So, now we know, let's look for an eBay villain. Hey everyone, I found an eBay villain. I don't know what the heck yeah, that this dude is trying to sell. We see this everywhere on the web. Yeah, it's funny. Haha, ha, I get it. Okay. And it's this dude is. I don't understand what he's selling. All Turtles Bean. Here's the dude who's selling it. Apparently, he's doing some kind of business. But he's selling for this much? And it's free shipping. I mean, who the hell's gonna buy this crap? And I looked on here to see maybe there's other stuff that he's selling with it, but no, it's just this thing right here. I don't get it. I don't get, understand. Heck. There's nothing else. No information. I I don't get it. It's, this dude's really trying to sell this crap. This is unreal. Let's see. Da, da. Let's see if I can find out why. Look, they're all right here. There's a t-shirt. Ooh, who's going to spend $1,000 for that? I, I don't know. But anyways, um, people, all you have to do is just click on it, blow it up, and post it on your wall. Wall off for, like, free. What the heck? I, I, I don't get it. Somebody please explain this to me. So yeah, he's selling for that much. Put your comments down, people. Tell me what you think about this. Seriously. Alright, guys. Well, take care and happy hunting, everyone.